Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and a very warm welcome. We welcome you all to the Zermatt Summit 2019. It's a pleasure to be here, it's a pleasure to see you all. Uh, for those who don't know me, and you probably don't know me at all, since it's the first time for me as well, uh, my name is Urs Gredig. I'm a journalist from Switzerland. I'm the head of programs and one of the founders of CNN Money in Switzerland, uh, the business channel, uh, pretty new in Switzerland, and uh, by the way, one of the proud media partners of the event uh, this year here in Zermatt. Why did we decide uh, to media partner with the event? Quite simply and quite uh, shortly said, I think it's a fantastic event. I think it's a fantastic topic that we're dealing and talking about for the next two and a half days. And uh, I think uh, most of all, I really love the motto of this year's uh, conference as well. Uh, so you will have to bear with me for the next two and a half days. I will be moderating through the event. And let me uh, talk to you a little bit about the motto, as, I'm already, uh, as I already alluded uh, to it. What do we need at the moment? When, what do we need in these uncertain times? Maybe entrepreneurship to serve a common good could be one of the solutions. Because uh, let's not fool ourselves. Uh, we live in turbulent times, in times of uncertainty. You all uh, face that on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I've been to quite a some conferences uh, recently, and there's just one word that you hear all over the place at the moment. It's VUCA. Of course, you've heard it before as well. Uh, it's how the world it is at the moment. It is volatile, it is uncertain, it is not chaotic, but uh, it is complex. And the last, the A, it is ambiguous. Uh, so that's what we all have to deal with uh, on a day-to-day on -day basis. We all have to deal with, you have to deal with it uh, in your businesses as well. So there are a lot of challenges. How do we get out of those challenges? That's going to be one uh, of the key topics for the next two and a half days as well. But I'm more of a kind of a half full glass uh, kind of guy, not always a half empty. I think with all these challenges come a lot of opportunities. And of course, that's something we want to talk about about as well. You probably know the famous speech by uh, ex-US President uh, Barack Obama, the world has never been a better place. If you look at some of uh, the indices and some of, of, of the things uh, uh, that make you almost forget about how challenging things are, I think that's one of the key things uh, that we always have to remember as well. And we will be uh, speaking about opportunities. Funny enough, in one of the magazines that, that are being given to you, uh, I, I read a very nice uh, little line uh, uh, by, by, by the editor, there, there are almost not enough problems for all the solutions we have. And I would suggest that's one of the key uh, thoughts that we take along uh, for this Zermatt Summit 2019. We need entrepreneurs, we need social entrepreneurs in these times, and we will meet some of them uh, today, tomorrow, and on Saturday as well. I want to kind of start the event uh, by a very nice quote of a social entrepreneur I found. Uh, you probably know him, uh, Bill Drayton, one of the pioneers uh, in this field. He once said, social entrepreneurs are not content just to give a fish or teach how to fish. They will not rest until they have revolutionized the fishing industry. So that's what I would uh, give out as a, as a very honest goal for these uh, next two days. Let's revolutionize the world and let's find solutions uh, to get us out of this world of VUCA. Let's have a look around uh, the, uh, the, the room that we're in and that we will be in for the conference. You will see a lot of things that are very interesting and that can be very helpful. Uh, there is a book store, let's say a book stand, where you find a lot of the books we talk about and uh, a lot of the uh, panelists that you will see and the speakers that you will see. They have books here as well, so please have a look at them. Uh, they can be very useful and helpful. Then we have a strange looking plant over there. Uh, if I can just uh, remind you what that is, some of you might know, it's a mushroom. We will get to know the face, the woman behind that idea later on. Let me just uh, tell you a funny story about that. Uh, it's mushrooms uh, that grow on, on coffee waste, for example. And uh, you will maybe, let's say maybe, be able to taste that mushroom we plan to serve you mushrooms like this uh, tomorrow night. We plan to do that because uh, they're still not here. Uh, I've been informed that they're stuck at customs in Geneva. 
so the organizers do whatever they can to just clear them out of customs. Uh, and I'm, I'm uh, very uh, curious to see whether we end up with uh, mushroom tomorrow night. If we do, just remember me telling you that is uh, one of those mushrooms that we have here as well. Uh, you all have a kind of a goodie bag that you, uh, you uh, are being uh, laid on, on your chairs. Uh, some very interesting stuff that I want, to, uh, I want to show you. First of all, thanks courtesy to Zermatt, uh, we get glasses. And if you had to take a look at around uh, outside, thanks, by the way, to the organizers to organize such beautiful weather. Uh, and it should stay that way. Uh, we have glasses, courtesy of Zermatt, made out of wood, partly. Uh, funny thing is, those glasses come with a, a little towel, with a little handkerchief as well. Now I can, I, can, I can brag for the first time. I've read a book on Blue Economy. I've read the book uh, by Gunter Pauli, who's here, for example, uh, of course, as well. Uh, and he said, you know, we should use what we have. So, for all the gentlemen in the room, look at that. You can use that as a handkerchief. We could also use it like this. Yeah. There you go. I will do that. Then we have a pen. Interesting, made out of wood as well. Uh, we have a notebook. Very interesting uh, thing as well, made out of stone. Please read on the back how this is made. Uh, all very sustainable. Uh, if you feel you're hungry, if you feel the energy level is sinking, please take this one. That is going to be your Red Bull for today. Uh, made out of coffee as well, coffee and chocolate. So something to keep you uh, over the rounds. Speaking of what does keep you over the rounds, um, uh, let me just give you one or two things about um, the, the event itself and uh, what we should all be aware of. So almost like a housekeeping rule uh, part. One thing that is very important, and I'll be, I'll be the one who kind of have to, have to look uh, on that, is time. Uh, when you browse through the program, uh, you probably realize that uh, we're on a very tight schedule. So that will be my demand to you and uh, my, my pledge to you. Please, let's keep that timing as, uh, you know, as well as possible. Uh, of course, I will make sure that uh, the speakers don't speak too long. Uh, we, however, want to do this as you know, informal and, and as interactive as possible. So if there are questions from the audience, uh, we try to kind of implement some of your questions as well in Q&As, but uh, that means we have to kind of keep a, a tight schedule, otherwise we're going to spend 24 hours a day uh, in here. So that will be my role in a way, I'll be almost like the referee uh, for the next two days, uh, like a football referee, but there's a warning, there's no VAR here, so there's not going to be a video assistance referee uh, giving you a second chance on timing, so I will be the one who decides. Uh, as I said, we want to keep this as informal as possible, as interactive as possible, and that means we'd like you to share whatever you hear. Uh, you know the phrase, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? That's not the case here. What happens in Zermatt should go out in the world, and you should share whatever you hear here. Uh, of course, we have a, f uh, a Twitter handle, uh, we have a hashtag, hashtag Zermatt Summit 19. Please use that as much as you can. Uh, we have an app with uh, the help of LiFi, uh, a very interesting um, a technical thing that you will hear about later on as well. Uh, you will find that on iOS and Android. It's called Ellipse Zermatt. You can download it, please. And uh, once again, there are no Chatham House rules here, so it's not going to be whatever you hear here uh, shouldn't leave this room. No, on the contrary, it would be very nice if uh, you would share whatever you, uh, you hear and whatever you experience here uh, in the, as I said before, very, very modest goal to revolutionize the world after we've met here.